Making a coffee at home today because I gotta fold some laundry. This entire video is gonna be shot in 4K 23.98 all eye 10 bit. Yeah, let's see if uh, LumaFusion can handle it. I think it's gonna be okay. And we let that sit for 30 seconds as usual. We're testing out 4K. All of my videos are shot generally in 1080 and then upscaled to 4K. That's why you get the little 4K icon. People said to do it and I've been doing it and it seems to be okay, so I like it. But today we're actually gonna shoot in 4K and see how it looks. Cheers. Am I the only person who does laundry and then literally spends the next three days just like kind of getting dressed out of the laundry basket and then basically having to redo it to fold it? Am I the only one? I feel like it's been a really long time on this channel since you guys have seen me do that. Since you've actually seen this house. How do you guys enjoy the office space vlogs versus the home vlogs? Obviously, the circumstances of the entire universe have changed since <laughs> the, the the house vlogs, but we're starting to see more of the outside world and not as much at home. Is it is it still fun? And I still gotta fold my laundry. And because we're gonna be doing laundry, you know what that means. Joby Gorilla Pod, phone mount, 14 mil moment lens iPhone 11 Pro, put it all together, and what does that spell? Time lapses with motion blur, right here. Let's switch to this. I don't know if this shot works yet, but <clears throat> check out this POV. Set up. Aw, I like you too, buddy. All right, not my best work yet, but still, the laundry bento box is good to go. And I just realized that during this entire thing, I haven't even had a sip of my coffee. So, without further ado, cheers. You know, son, one day you're gonna realize that life is more than just coffee. I'm thinking this might make a difference with the sound echoing in uh, my office, so we'll try it out. <clears throat> Something like hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. I don't have my ND filter on, ND filter. I need it, I need it right now, bad. Here. Now we're at F300. If anybody who's been watching my videos is a sound expert, or somebody who can practically help me fix the sound, please uh, shoot me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment below because I can't stand the reverb that I get and I don't know what type of sound panels or something to buy. I'm not pretending to be a expert at making videos and I hope that you don't think that. So if you know anything about sound paneling for an affordable price, leave me a comment below. Send me a DM on Instagram, Chris meets Chris. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks. Check out the difference here. Check out the difference. All right, that's, a, that's five stops of ND. I don't even know if that's enough. Holy, I don't even know if that's enough. Just kidding, it's enough. Five stops of ND versus whoop, what we were at before, which, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but the point is, this thing is dirty. ND filters, they work. And also, I'm convinced, I haven't tested this yet, but I'm convinced that with an ND filter and being at the right shutter speed and not over cranking, the stabilization is actually better. The shutter is really kind of a But when it's nice, smooth, motion blur, you're not seeing as much shake, which is why I think a lot of people, I've, I've watched a lot of X-T4 videos and it seems like their stabilization is really bad and 
I don't find the same thing with my footage. So, and I'm not doing anything different. Like right now, I'm even I'm holding the lens by the by the face. So, I don't know. Maybe that I'll test that. So you'll see that I'm wearing jeans, probably for the first time that you've seen me wear jeans. And that's because I've gained so much weight over quarantine that I only have one pair of pants that fit. So far these jeans are able to buckle, but they're still a little bit tight, so bear with me. Down. Maybe I should do it the other way. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna try out a few things and see how it looks and how it sounds. So I've just finished cutting this vlog. Judging by the sound that I'm hearing right now, I'm gonna say that it doesn't sound much different with this. But one plus is I edited all of this on LumaFusion as I do every single video. And normally it wouldn't be able to process the H.265 files. But I guess with the new update, the LumaFusion, um, I don't know what version it is, I'll put it right here. It now supports the 4K, like I have no problems editing this 4K. It went in smoothly, no issues. The only issue that I have is this entire vlog was about 64 gigs. So that's like a little bit too much for me to be doing on a daily basis. Let me know what you think. Was it actually better? Did you even notice a quality difference from my previous videos to this ones? I'm not the best color grader. LumaFusion doesn't even really have that much uh, color grading options, but let me know what you think. I, I think I'm gonna go back to shooting in 1080, but I will definitely shoot 4K when I can for certain projects. I don't know if you need to see my face in 4K when we're doing these kind of vlogs. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you like me, consider subscribing to the channel as we are doing this all the time now and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Peace! TIE FIGHTER! Yeah.